my name is Ella. I'm in the learning team at Royal Botanic Gardens Victoria. We're here at the Arid Gardens at Melbourne Gardens and you've asked some great questions about cacti. We are going to head in and I've chosen five of your great questions. Let's go. The first question comes from Matthew and Matthew wants to know, are there any cacti that are from Australia? And the answer is no, there are no cacti that are indigenous to Australia. Cacti are from the Cactaceae family. It's a huge family. We recognize about 1500 different species in this big family and all but one are from the Americas. So most of the cacti you see here, they're from the Americas, places like Mexico and Peru and Bolivia. But there are actually succulents that are from Australia. So succulents are plants that hold water in their stems, or their leaves, and they live really well in arid conditions. So the second question is from Bertie. And Bertie, you wanted to know, is it true that cacti don't need too much water to live? So cacti live in all kinds of places, in hot, dry deserts, and also even on the top of snowy mountains in the Andes. So they experience snow and they experience dry, arid deserts, but generally they don't need heaps of rain to live. So they have really good abilities to store water inside of them. Have a look at this golden barrel cactus. It's from East Central Mexico. Shapes like a big round beach ball. This cactus can absorb lots of water and expand, taking lots of water when it rains, and then it'll contract when it uses the water up and then shade itself. So here at the Botanic Gardens, what we do is we make sure that they're planted in really sandy, loose soil to mimic their environment back at home so that when it rains here in Melbourne, it'll drain right through and it won't sit with the roots and the roots won't rot. So that's how we care for them. They don't need too much water. So the next question is actually from Claire, who was Bertie's mum. And Claire wants to know, well, she's been to the gardens recently and she's seen some of these cacti blooming in beautiful flowers. She wants to know what time of year these flowers bloom. And I had to ask Brett, who's our horticulturalist, the gardener for this area. And Brett says, well, generally it's around spring or summertime, but sometimes they pop up randomly during the year, straight after dry spells and then huge rains, you'll see flowers pop up. And if we look at the colors of the cacti, they can actually give us little clues as to what pollinates it and spreads its seed. So if it's red, then generally it'll be birds. And where this cactus is from probably gets pollinated by a hummingbird, a beautiful hummingbird. And if the, if the flowers are white, then that's a clue that perhaps that plant is pollinated by moths or bats in the night time. It's like a beautiful bright light in the night. So there you go. Thanks, Claire. So this question is from Harriet. Harriet is four years old and you wanted to know why are cacti so spiky? We have to be really careful when we're in the arid garden. It's a pretty prickly place. It's not the kind of place you want to run around in or lean on plants here. So why do these cacti have these spines? Well, they need to protect themselves. Inside their stems, they're saving lots of water. And in a desert, water is very, very precious. So they need to protect their water with these spikes. Otherwise, they look like a delicious cucumber in the desert that they just want to munch up. So the spines are helpful for a couple of other reasons as well. When it's really hot and sunny in the desert, the spines protect the cactus stem, the epidermis, the skin of the cactus from the hot sun so it doesn't get burnt. And when it rains, the rainwater funnels down the spines, down the stem and into the shallow roots. So they help it to collect water and make sure it doesn't get sunburnt as well. So the next question is from Ellie and Archie. And your question is, how do we transport the cacti if they're so prickly and spiky? And it's a really great question because all these cacti are such different shapes and sizes. Some of them are like round beach balls. Some of them as big as huge basketball players. So how do we move these quirky cacti around? We need to make sure, first of all, we have safety equipment. The horticulture team always wears gloves, really thick gloves when they're handling the cacti and 
planting cacti. So if you look behind me, this is the old man of the mountain and it lives on snowy mountain tops. That's why it's got that white fur to keep it nice and warm and insulated. But we transport those shaped cacti in big pipes like this with sometimes some soft padding around it. And another cool invention that our staff came up with, this is the BK2020 invented by Brett and Ken, who are two of our horticulture staff at the Botanic Gardens, the people who look after the plants here. So this is how it works. I've got my friend who's gonna help me demonstrate. So we pop the cactus plant into the pot, or it's already in the pot, and then this is how we safely pick it up with the BK2020. There you go. Okay, let's go, bye. Okay, thanks for all your great questions. I'll see you next time.